Hello and welcome to another installment of Commodore 64 games that I will be loading from cassette. Uh, from my personal collection I have about 400 Commodore 64 games on cassette format. And today's episode I'll be loading up one of my favourite games, or at least uh, a game that I enjoy playing, although I did get quite frustrated because it was just so difficult. It's a game called Hacker 2. The Doomsday Papers. This game was released by uh, Actasource, Activision, back in 1986, I think it was. Uh, it came with a nice little manual, um, which I which would begin to read. Um, and as I said, I spent a lot of time trying to learn how to play this game, but I really didn't have much success. So uh, I don't expect this will be any different today. So here we go, I'm going to load it up from cassette. I haven't played this game since I was living in England back in the 1980s. I now live in Florida, United States. But I still have my original Commodore 64 and the original C2N data set cassette unit. Hacker 2. And uh, it looks like it has found the initial loading file. I'll go ahead and hit the Commodore key to get that moving along. I don't recall how long this game takes to load, but I would estimate it's probably about four minutes or so. Now, as mentioned before, um, I have about 400 games in my collection, and I will be loading up every single one, or at least trying to load up every single one and putting them in a mammoth playlist called the Definitive Commodore 64 Games. And what I'd like you to do is, um, if you think this game is good, give it a thumbs up. If you think the game sucks, um, you can dislike it as well. If you remember playing it, um, I guess that makes you a bit more qualified um, to leave a rating but by all means uh, leave a comment as well um, if you did if you did play this game and uh, as I said my mind's a bit foggy I, I'm, I'm not really sure how to control the unit here that in this particular game but if you see me doing things terribly wrong leave a comment of what I'm supposed to actually be doing in the game and uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll make another video of me trying to play the game following the tips that you leave here in the comments. So while it's loading, uh, I do have the Wikipedia article pulled up for this particular game. It looks like it was written by Steve Cartwright. Published by Activision in 1986, it's the sequel to the 1985 game Hacker. Uh, Hacker was released, I'm sorry, Hacker 2 was released for the Amiga, Apple II, Apple IGS, Amstrad, uh, Atari ST, Commodore 64, IBM PC, Macintosh, and the ZX Spectrum. So the plot it reads here, uh, it's a, uh, Hacker 2 is a more difficult and involved game than the first game. In Hacker 2, the player is actually recruited based upon their assumed success with the activities in the original game. Yeah, it looks like the loading sequence just failed. So, what I will do is I will actually fast forward the cassette and attempt to load the game from side B of the cassette. If you've seen any of my other videos, I've mentioned that the videos I make are all done in one take. That's why they look so shitty. I'm not a professional uh, video editor. I just capture the output from the Commodore 64 through my video capture card and do everything in one take. So, yep, there is going to be times of dead air and uh, and most of the other times you'll see extremely poor gameplay because I suck at these games. I really do. Alright, so I got the... Uh, Side B loading up now. Let's see if it picks up anything. No, 
All right. So far, so good. We'll let that move along. again so yeah as I was saying um, the Wikipedia article does have uh, some uh, some comments here about a particular game um, basically you're tasked with controlling a robot this time to infiltrate a secure facility in order to retrieve documents known only as the doomsday papers from a well-guarded vault to ensure the security of the United States eventually as you escape with the papers the player is confronted by agents of the United States who reveal that they have actually been working for a formula, uh, a former Magma employee who wanted the papers in revenge for what has happened to the company, to the company the player had presumably exposed in the first game. The building that the building that the player had unwittingly broke into was a government facility. Um, the player then has to go back into the facility as part of a gambit to expose the magma agent, avoiding the same security that had threatened the player before. Now, I never played the first game, so I have no idea what any of that means, and uh, it's probably why I find the game so hard to play. As far as gameplay is concerned, gameplay is considerably changed from the previous game, and the packaging notably includes a manual describing the function of a four-way monitor system provided to the player. It is hooked into the camera security network for the facility the player is asked to infiltrate. Uh, a handful of robots are available hidden in the facility in case some are lost. By using the camera system and in-game map that helps track uh, guard patrols and the location of robots, the player must explore one floor, the one floor facility and find the codes needed to open the vault and escape with the papers. To to aid the player, there is also a pre-recorded security tape of a, of a typical day for every uh, camera at the facility, which the player can bypass the actual camera feed with them and then when they need to be in an area for an extended uh, period of time, although care is needed to ensure the time stamp matches the actual time of the game. Discovery by the guards must be avoided at all costs because once alerted, the, the, they will call in a huge machine which resembles a large plate hung from what looks like a metal frame on wheels. This machine pursues the player's, uh, the player's defenseless robot and attempt to crush it with the plate. The player can try, can try to avoid the, the drone, although it's relentless in its pursuit and much faster than the player's robot. If all the player's robots are destroyed, the game is over. Things that can set off the alarms include being seen by a patrolling guard uh, who has constant line of sight in the corridors, having one of the cameras see the robot, incorrectly disabling the vault security, or failing to sync a bypass camera feed with the uh, actual time, giving evidence that there is uh, tampering going on. Uh, the game also featured an escalating problems as part of the player's uh, interface begins to fail. The in-game map starts to lose progress of the player's robot monitored by security cameras. The guard and eventually the map itself as the player defeat the system. Eventually, to get into the vault, the player may well be forced to control the robot blindly, relying on maps that should have been made by the player. There are no saves available in the game, as in the first as in the first uh, game. All right, so. Um, <laughs> The game has loaded up. Um, I just read all of that from the Wikipedia page, and uh, I'm even more intimidated now than I was before I started to load it up. So uh, don't get your hopes up here of this being a long play. This is probably going to be very short. So, uh, 
I'm being prompted to hit enter at the invitation of the CIA. So let me go ahead and do that. And let's read the operation brief. So I believe that's the unit that I'll be controlling in the game. Um, let's see if here. So pieces of the Vox combination are hidden in four filing cabinets. Um, the access code to one of the cabinets is red seven or red space seven. So let me see if I'm going to remember that. <laughs> So, uh, I've got a strong feel. I'm going to struggle in this game. It's just too much stuff to remember. One, two. All right, so let's model and stop at number one. Start from one of them. Two three six four one seven five. I don't remember if that's even random or if that's the same thing every game. I, and you know what? Honestly, I don't even know what any of that means. So, all right, let's press enter. One of four displays. Uh... Oh my god. I'm not supposed to be pressing it. I 
this. I don't know what to do with any of this stuff. Telemetry, I guess that's this. Bypass, camera, okay, so. Uh, activate mobile remote, I guess that's that. Zero, zero, nine, eight, seven, all right.
this game is pretty hard, man. Once I got everything, the vertical hold all set up, uh, I uh, and started to move my my robot. I got detected right away. But it's a good game. I, you know, I've, I've I have forgotten how to play it. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but I did want to show you uh, basically what the general concept was. But basically, you got to. Uh, swap out the feeds for those security cameras and not get detected by one of the guards um, it takes a lot of coordination it's a game in fact that's very similar to another game that i used to have fun playing I used to have better luck with that it's called called it's a game called uh, they stole a million which was um i can't remember who that was released by but it was uh, an enjoyable game where you'd have to plan robberies or bank heists Planet in advance, where you'd have to get your team of uh, your team of crooks um, synchronized. So you'd have one, you know, breaking into the safe while one did something else, and it's all about synchronizing. But yeah, they stole a million. Um, that game was by. Ariola Soft. It came out, I think, in 1987. But this game here, um, I'm not sure if I can proceed, but I really don't want to start another game. Let's see what happens here. Oh, you know what? I can. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. I can't move. Uh, that's my robot in number three. My, my guy's not moving anymore. And, oh, there you go. I'm about to get crushed. Yeah, there you go. I'm dead. Ha! So, uh... I don't think I want to subject you all to more punishment here, but uh, this is Hacker 2, the Doomsday Papers that was released, um, that was released by Activision back in, I think, 1986. Leave a comment below, I know that the gameplay what I just did actually sucks, I do know that, but if you do remember playing this game, and you enjoyed it, Give the video a thumbs up. Um, I know the title of the video probably indicates, you know, that this game sucks or something like that, to that effect. Um, I don't think it does. This is actually one of the better games. It requires a bit of thought rather than just, you know, going back and forth, shooting things, everything in sight. This requires some planning and forethought, um, and it's challenging. So this game doesn't suck. It's not a bad game at all. Um, if you disagree, um, leave a comment below. Um, this game, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I think uh, is part of the Mammoth playlist that I'll be compiling of adding 400 games. Um, I do hope to revisit this game. Um, so if you have any tips or tricks for this particular game, leave them in the comments below. I'll, short, I'll be sure to read them and uh, I'll take your advice. And I will try playing this game again. As I said, I did play it back in the 80s and I had fun playing it, but it was very difficult too back then. Um, it didn't turn me off, I enjoyed it, uh, I like the atmosphere that the game creates, um, of just trying to stay hidden, it's one of those stealth games, you know, like, uh, like Metal Gear or uh, Splinter Cell, you know, where you have to stay out of harm's way, that's the key here as well, um, and, uh, like I said, I do hope to revisit this game again in the future, and give it a, uh, give you guys a much better, um, gameplay, uh, video. All right, so I will see you in the uh, in the next one. Um, you know, this this particular video was supposed to be of another game entirely. It was uh, a game called Infiltrator, um, which is a helicopter simulation simulation game. Um, I was trying to load that up initially, but it failed. Like the tape cut at the reel. That's the second one I've encountered in the past week. The other one was Aliens, uh, 1986 game of this of the game of the same uh, name as the movie. It is actually based on the movie. 
So infield trader um, is a cassette that I will need to pull apart and uh, re-splice back onto the reel. That video will come at a later date, as will Aliens. Um, but if you have any special requests, leave them in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for persevering and sticking through this and seeing uh, what this game is all about. As I said, I will try to release a better version of this video in the future. Thanks again, and I will see you on the next video.